punishment is homework. Specifically, it's recognizing unsafe moves. Unsafe moves being moves that have vulnerable periods in their recovery when blocked, and responding correctly in blocking said unsafe moves. Being good at punishment means spending lots of time outside of the game, looking at frame data and testing things in practice mode, then going inside the game and recording your experiences to see what you can consistently execute. It's about as boring as you'd expect. It's also a lot of work. Your reward, however, is free damage, that, and momentum shifts that can really help against tough opponents. Once you do this initial work, you never have to do it again. So if you can set aside some time, it'll pay off immensely in the future. The best thing you can do for yourself when it comes to punishment is to create a list, a list of unsafe moves and punishes for a specific character. You'll want to keep this list by you as you play, and look over it to remind yourself of when you should be punishing. In order to make such a list, you'll need to bring up frame data for your character, frame data for the character you're training against, and have practice mode running in the background. First things first is to find your punishers, the moves you'll be using most often to punish unsafe moves. Punishers should be either fast or powerful with good range. Use your character's frame data to compare speed and damage. Remember, the point is to get maximum damage. If you have two moves you're thinking of using as punishers and they are the same speed, use the one that does the most damage. For example, Leisha's BB and Sits KK are both the same speed, 14 frames, but you'll generally want to use Sits KK for more damage. Let's look at a finished list of punishers to give you an idea of what you're looking for. Taking Ezio as an example, AA, 12 frames. Critical Edge, 13 frames. Sits B, 15 frames. BB, 16 frames. Sits Sits BB, 20 frames. You might notice that Sits B, BB, and Sits Sits BB can be Brave Edge for more damage. Look out for little bonuses like this when making your selections. Your moveset changes when blocking lows or ducking under highs, so it's important to account for this too. From Crouch, Ezio's punishers are Critical Edge, 13 frames. Sits B, 15 frames. While Rising K, 15 frames. While Rising BB, 18 frames. Sits Sits BB, 20 frames. If you saw that Sits B and While Rising K share a speed slot, you might be wondering, why use While Rising K over Sits B? Sits B does more damage, especially with the Brave Edge. Well, Sits B is also high. A lot of lows will put the attacker in crouch, and attempting to punish with a high may have no effect. Let's look at one more list of punishers, this time using Shiba. K. 13 frames. 3A, 14 frames. 1K, 15 frames. 3K slide B, 16 frames. 6A, 17 frames. 3B KK, 19 frames. And from Crouch, 2A, 14 frames. While Rising KK, 16 frames. 6A, 17 frames. You might notice that some characters are a little better at punishing than others. This is normal, and usually characters that have weak punishment aren't hurt badly by the user not knowing or not being able to punish properly. However, if you happen to play one of these characters, you should still give things a look. You may only be able to punish the most unsafe moves, but punishes are punishes. Free damage is free damage. After you've compiled a list of punishers for your character, keep them close for reference. Bring up the frame data of the character you're studying to fight, let's say Mitsurugi. 
Look in the GRD or guard column for large negative numbers and compare it with the speeds of your punishers. If there is a number that is equal to or larger than your fastest punisher, you should check to see if you can punish it. Bring up practice mode. We'll be playing as Ezio for this example. To begin testing, tap your right analog stick left two times to put you in a record state. If you are using a controller that has no right analog stick, hit start, go to 2P settings, and scroll left until you arrive at record command. The move we'll be checking here is Mitsurugi's 1A. 1A is negative 16 on block, so we must find a punishment that fits within that time frame. Hit select and start, or hold select and tap start to ready the recording. On a 360, this will probably be back and start. The recording will not begin until you press an action button, so take your time. We'll input 1A, and here's the important part. Hold G after inputting it. We'll hold it for a short time before ending the recording by pressing select. Now, play back the move by pressing select and X, back in A on a 360. As we recorded, Mitsurugi will 1A and then guard. Block 1A and then attempt to punish using one of your character's punishers. If you're having trouble readying yourself in time after starting playback, you can record small tells to let you know when the move is coming, like tapping G, taunting, or whatever you'd like. Remember to hold guard after you execute the move you're trying to test. As I was saying, attempt to punish using one of the punishers you found earlier. In Ezio's case, we have Critical Edge, Sits B, or Wild Rising K. Let's try Sits B. Make your input immediately after the attack is blocked. You have a little leeway, but you want to get that punish out ASAP. Sits B whiffs here. This is why you need to test whatever information you get from frames, message boards, guides. Just because you have enough advantage to punish with doesn't mean it will work. I happen to know that this is a spacing issue, and Mitsurugi players who use 1A probably don't use it at tip range all the time. Let's try again. You can tap L1 and R1 simultaneously, left bumper and right bumper on the 360, to reset your position. I do this often to keep things consistent. Step forward and try again. In this case, the punish worked as planned. On your punishment list, you could write down that Sits B is a punish for 1A, only when you're close enough. Sits B seems good, but we haven't tried Critical Edge. Let's do that. We'll be using the shortcut method of 2323A plus B plus K in order to speed up our execution from crouching. If you know about Street Fighter's Sure You Can Shortcut, it's like that. Beautiful punish. If you notice, Critical Edge connected where Sits B did not, so you might consider Critical Edge to be more reliable of a punish. Let's take it a little further and see how reliable Critical Edge is. Reset, step back by tapping 4, and try again. In this case, Critical Edge whiffed. We know from testing now that Critical Edge is effective up to a point. From further out, it won't connect. We can write in our list that Sits B or CE are working punishes for 1A, as long as we're close enough to hit. I normally call this condition spacing dependent. In a real fight, if you notice Mitsurugi using 1A and you block, you'll have to judge whether you want to use Sits B, Sits B Brave Edge, or Critical Edge. How much meter you have to use, and if you're close enough to connect. Remember, if you spend too much time thinking about it, the opportunity will fade away.
Let's look at another move. Going through Mitsurugi's frames, we find that Tsitsits BB is negative 23. That's a pretty big number, which sounds like a pretty big punish. Looks like we could get our own Tsitsits BB in. Let's load it up and try it out. Record as usual, end the recording, reset with L1 and R1, and start. If your attack is blocked, the frames say that this shouldn't happen. Try inputting your punish earlier. ASAP, remember? There we are. Since this BB seems like a satisfactory punish, so we'll write it down. It's your choice if you want to make a small note about the possibility of using the Brave Edge for extra damage. Look through the frame data like this until you've accounted for all of those large negative numbers. Look for string attacks too. You might not be able to punish them on block, but that doesn't mean they can't be punished at all. When you finish, print your notes out and keep them by you next time you play. Your time and practice should stick in your memory, but if it doesn't, just glance over your notes for a refresher. With enough reinforcement and experience, you should be punishing with the best of them in no time. You might wonder, well, I'm okay if any Mitsurugi players come my way, but what about anyone else? That's the bad part about punishment. You'll have to make a list and repeat this process for every single character in the game. That's 25 characters, 20 sits if you count Devil Jin. Doing that much homework is quite a bummer, so don't do it all at once. Maybe you might only do it for characters you're having trouble with. That's what I'd personally recommend. Start slow and easy and use punishment homework as support for those tough battles. If you're playing casually or for fun, punishment homework on tough characters should keep you from pulling your hair out when playing against them. If you are serious, however, and plan on playing at tournament level, you must do your homework on all characters that are legal for your area. Period. Point blank. You just won't be the best without being able to punish your opponent's mistakes.